So today's video is all about why you should do as I say, not do as I do. Yeah. Hi, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. I hope you had a great weekend. I was out on a fairly long drive this weekend and while I was driving down the road, I was thinking about future videos that we could do here at Transport Evolved. And one of them focused on maintaining and keeping your 12 volt battery in tip top condition and explaining why if you don't look after the 12 volt battery in your electric car, bad things will happen. And then this morning, two days later, my partner comes upstairs and says, the Nissan Leaf won't start. Yeah. But I guess the first thing we should look into is why there is a 12 volt battery underneath the hood or in the trunk of your electric car. After all, your electric car has a massive battery pack. Why does it need a 12 volt starter battery? Modern electric cars still have 12 volt batteries because the car's auxiliary power system, that's things like the lights, the radio, the onboard computers, they all operate on 12 volts. And so it's easier to have a 12 volt auxiliary battery under the hood or hidden under the floor at the back of the car to keep the car as standard as possible. It makes it easier for auto shops to work on and it makes it cheaper for you to buy parts to put in your car. Now the other important function that the 12 volt battery performs in an electric car and in a hybrid car is it allows the car to actually turn on its main power system. You see, those big powerful battery packs that give your car its all electric range or give you hybrid power assist, they're really high voltage and they're kind of dangerous. You can't just leave them turned on all the time. So when you turn your car on, the 12 volt system activates a set of relays. You'll hear them clunk when you turn on a Toyota Prius or you turn on a Nissan Leaf. You'll hear those clunks as the relays power themselves on and the car then tells you it's ready to move. That's why when you jump behind the wheel of an electric car and its traction battery, that's the one that provides all the power to push you down the road, is fully charged, but the 12 volt battery has issues, you've got a problem. And that's exactly what happened to this car this morning. Now, when I first came down this morning and we were trying to figure out why this car wouldn't turn on, why the keys weren't working, etc., etc., I popped the hood and I threw a voltmeter onto the two terminals of the 12 volt battery. And this little thing here was giving me a reading of about five and a half volts. Five volts, while it's enough power to power an LED, is not enough power to turn the car's onboard power systems on and allow the car to energize the main contactors which then in turn turns the car on properly. It's a bit like in an internal combustion engine vehicle when the 12 volt starter battery is so weak it can't actually turn the engine over and therefore you can't start the car. But in the case of electric vehicles, these 12 volt starter batteries are notorious for failing. And here's the reason why. 12 volt starter batteries for internal combustion engine cars are engineered to withstand huge amounts of starting current, cranking amps as you might see on the front of the battery when you buy it in the shop. Now during starting, your starter battery may dip down to 11 volts, maybe even 10 if it's an older battery but it will be just enough to get the car engine going and then the battery charges back up again. In an electric car, all this battery needs to do is provide a constant 12 volts nominal in order to allow the car to engage its main contactors and turn on, after which point, the onboard DC to DC converter in the vehicle provides a steady stream of about 14 volts to help the car operate all of its 12 volt systems. But there's one other thing about using high starting currents on those 12 volt batteries and a regular internal combustion engine car that an electric car doesn't ever see. And that is that that high current helps break apart any deposits that have built up on the plates of the battery over time. The problem with an electric car starter battery is that that battery never has a high current to shake any of those deposits off and over time, those deposits mean that the car can't store as much charge as it once could. 
So what's the solution? Well, one of the solutions is to just make sure that you regularly check up on the 12 volt battery for your electric car. This morning, I put a battery tender onto this 12 volt battery and trickle charged it up a little bit, but I was discovering that it still wasn't enough power to properly charge the battery. In fact, I had to wait for the 2017 Toyota Prius Prime, which has just arrived on loan for a week to arrive so that I could then break out the jumper cables here and jumpstart the leaf. And yes, in case you're wondering, you can jumpstart an electric car just like you would jumpstart a regular car. Now, after I jumpstarted this leaf, it sprung back into life, but I've kept the voltmeter on the car because I'm curious to learn what caused the problem in the first place. Over the weekend, this car drove about 250 miles, so it wasn't sitting in the garage doing nothing. But yesterday, when we were trying to charge at a public charging station, we did have an error with the charging station. Now, that might have been a fault with the charging station, but waking up to this car with a flat battery this morning suggests that this battery has got some issues. And as I've been talking to you, I've been watching the voltage gradually drop. Now a decent 12 volt battery will hold charge after you turn the vehicle off. And one way to tell whether the battery is the problem or if there's some other issue is to watch the voltage drop over time. If your car's battery loses a volt or more in the first hour after you've turned it off, then the chances are it's the battery. That's assuming you've not left any lights on, there's nothing plugged into the car draining the battery pack, and I've double checked all of that for this vehicle this morning. When I started talking to you, we were about 13 volts, and we're now down to 12.29, make that 12.28. So it does suggest that this battery is going to need to be replaced. And at three, four years old, this battery is probably about due replacement anyway. But what can you do to make sure that this doesn't happen to you? Well, it's pretty simple. You can buy a battery tender or battery minder. These just clip onto the terminals of your car's battery. And then this end plugs into the wall wart that comes with part of the kit. Some battery tenders, like the one we've got in our 2002 Toyota RAV4 EV, have an attachment that you can screw on or bolt onto the battery terminals directly, meaning it's a permanent installation. And they have this little trailing lead that you can hide just under the bonnet. Again, it's simply a case of plugging this into the wall wart every time you leave your car for any length of time. Have you had any issues with your electric car and its 12 volt battery system? Do these kind of symptoms sound familiar to you? Or is this the first time you've ever encountered a problem with an electric car related to its tiny 12 volt battery? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and I will be back tomorrow with another video. In the meantime, if you liked what you saw today and you'd like to support us at Transport Evolved, please do consider making a donation through Patreon. You can find a link in the description below or at the end of this video. And that one you can even click on. Thanks for watching. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Have a great day and until tomorrow, keep evolving.